Okay, previously we defeated the Wizard of Yendor. And, but you cannot destroy the Wizard of Yendor. You can never truly defeat him, because he is too strong. Oh, the oil lamp went out. Do we have any more oil lamps? Yes, we do. So let's uh, drop this one. Okay. Now, um... Is the Orb of Fate still invocable? Oh, yes it is. Okay, go down to the bottom. Now we just need to find the vibrating square, which we mark with this. So let's just go over here. And now we do the in Ritual of Invocation, which involves, um... Oh, I always forget the order. Well, when in doubt, look it up. Invocation Ritual. What the? What was it called? Invocation Ritual. Okay. What did I search for? I can't remember because my memory's bad. Okay, Vibrating Square. Check. Candle of Room of Invocation. Okay. It has a little way to remember it this way. Make some light to read by, ring the bell, read the book to them. See, but I can never remember whether it's ringing the bell or making light first, you know? Okay, first light the, um, this thing, then apply the bell of opening, then read the spell book. Yeah, and then this happens, and now we go down! Um, where's the hidden thing? There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Potions of booze can make you feel confused, right? Yeah, let's keep that, then, for the confusion. Oh, yes, I forgot. To, that there's a good thing to do here. Stop wearing the ring of slow digestion and put on conflict. See, that's great because there's so many enemies here, and if they're all going after you, it makes things annoying. Conflict makes will distract them by having them fight each other. Ooh, a wraith corpse. Let's eat. Yay! Oh, might as well kill the race while we're here. Oh, you cannot escape from the Pit Fiend final. Kill you stupid Pit Fiends. Wraith Corpse! Ooh, another Wraith Corpse! Okay, let's check these places out, see if there's anything we want in them. Ooh, a potion of gain level! Wow, I wonder what kind of scroll that is. Food detection. Yeah. Lord Seth's ghost. How are there ghosts of me when I haven't died? Okay, um, potions. Oh, why the heck not? If you have a, um, scr a blessed scroll of food detection, if you, um, read it, then it'll, uh, start telling you if you're going to eat something dangerous. Oh, wait, Wand of Death! Yes, we could use a Wand of Death! You can never have too many Wands of Death. Don't need any of that. Og friend, Og good dude, Og died, Og now food. It rhymes! Oh, wait, knock. Open. A spell book. Ooh, this might be something interesting. Create familiar. Eh, it's okay. First, let's eat something. Like this. Now read. 
Oh, yeah, we gotta get rid of these enemies if we're gonna read it. Oops. Well, oh, there goes the spell book. Oh well. By the way, if you don't have conflict, uh, char monster or something can kind of have the same effect because it gives you, you know, things on your side and they'll go and attack the others. It won't really distract them quite as much though, so that's why conflict is good. Okay, time to clear a path with magic missile. Yeah, screw it. Guess we'll just have to go up fight and uh, fight it one on one. Yeah, why not? Now, time to find the um, hidden door. Now, we could actually go here and search for them, but these are unfortunately with fire traps, and it's just kind of annoying. So let's uh, use the wand of secret door detection, which actually finds traps also, which is nice. Ooh, whoops -o. Yeah, there's fire traps there. Ooh, let's get this. Potion of gain energy. Why not? Okay, where were we? Now we need to zap uh, this. Okay. The High Priest of Moloch. Okay, let's kill this thing. Wands of death are the easiest way to do it. Unfortunately, Moloch also um will blind you. Fortunately, we've got... um. We've got uh, the, the, the reflection, so Moloch's lightning bolt won't hurt us. Here we go, the Amulet of Yendor! And a bunch of spell books that we don't need! That we've already gotten. Okay. First, name the individual object real. No, in capital letters. That way you won't get it mixed up with any, like, fake ones that you might find. Hmm getting overloaded. Okay, let's put away one of the Amulets of Life Saving. Okay, now that we've got the Amulet of Yendor, it's time to go all the way to the beginning of the dungeon. One sec. Let's see something. Oh, our Unicorn Horn isn't blessed anymore. We should, uh, bless it. Just click over here, click over all right Ugh. now let me explain what happens here when you got the amulet of yendor first it makes you hungrier more often it also uh, makes casting spells and teleporting uh, use more power up though we've got the eye of the afeo pika so that doesn't affect us that much uh, sometimes a Wizard of Yendor will come and attack you, sometimes monsters will attack, sometimes things will get randomly um, cursed. Actually, the stuff with the Wizard of Yendor and the cursing of the monsters is an effect of killing the Wizard of Yendor, because he's that awesome. Um, also, more importantly, when you try to go upstairs, it has a chance of, un of unfortunately, um... Um, where was I? Actually, um... Stop that. Okay. It has a uh, chance of sending you down a few uh, floors. If we're neutral, it won't send us down more than, I believe, two. Or was it... Wait, let me think. Yeah, more than two, I think. But it's still a bit of an annoyance, so you just have to keep trying to go up over and over until you make it. Okay. Now, last time I fast-forwarded, but this time I don't think we will, because... um. First, we're neutral rather than lawful. Lawfuls can be sent back more. Also, I am um, kind of real. Back then, I I thought you, I forgot that you can just like you know click on something to go there, or in this case, teleport. Okay, so we are going to go up. Hoof, and this is the end of this part. Okay, let's. Okay, um, yeah. So see you next time. Bye.